here's my walkthrough of the Arduino code that I wrote for this program. If you're not interested in learning more, modifying, or experimenting with the code, needn't worry. All you need to do is know two things. Here is the need heat equals 68. That's my default setting. What that means is that if the temperature finds that the apartment or room is 68 degrees or lower, it's going to turn the heat on need AC equals 80. That means if the temperature probe reads that the room is 80 degrees or hotter, it will turn the air conditioning on. When it reads the temperature, and if it finds that it's in between these two, it will turn the unit off. The third, the third and last thing you need to know is how often do you want it to check the temperature of the apartment. This is in milliseconds, which is 1,000 1, milliseconds is one second. So I have the default set as 300,000 milliseconds. That's equal to 300 seconds, which is equal to five minutes. So if you don't want to do anything, you can just uh, populate your Arduino with this code, and it will, it will turn the heat on if it's below 68, turn the air conditioning on if it's above 80, and if it's in between those two, it will turn the unit or make sure the unit is off, and it will do that every five minutes. Feel free to tweak that to your own settings. If you aren't interested in learning more or seeing more about the code, you can go ahead and skip to the next uh, section. For those that do want to hear, um, you're welcome to follow along. I'm including two libraries, the servo library, obviously to control the servos, and the one wire library, uh, which is the library for the temperature sensor. If you don't have the one li wire library, simply go to arduino.cc and Google one wire and you'll be able to download that library right there. I'll have a link to it on the Instructables page as well. I've done my best to uh, comment this code extensively, so hopefully that will prove um, to be self-explanatory. Um, some of the stuff I actually don't even understand all that well, particularly with uh, respect to the uh, one-wire library that controls the temperature sensor, but um, that's the great thing about Arduino is that I just Googled and found some examples and pasted it around and made it work. Um, in particular, here's a good example. This is the um, setup uh, variables that are necessary to control the array that the, is output by the temperature uh, probe, and this, which is an I2C probe. Um, and I'm not even going to explain this, I just copied and pasted it in to get it to work. Here, the need nothing, this is what tells you to turn the unit off if you're below the heat, uh, below the 80 and above 68. It just simply takes those variables plus one, minus one, setting up the servos. I attach the servo here, servo 1 to pin 9, servo 2 to pin 10. Once again, this here is um, I2C stuff for the uh, temperature probe, which I just pasted in. And here we go. Here we're starting our actual program, void loop. Once again, here is all stuff to do with the um, I2C temperature probe which I simply found and pasted in to get it to work. That goes through, reads the temperature, converts it to Fahrenheit, and stores that as a variable that we can use to compare. So here's the first bit of actual code that we're using to control the servo. It takes temp, which it finds from the temperature sensor, and it compares it to need heat, and it makes sure the heat's not already on, and if it finds that it needs heat, it will turn the servo to 55 degrees, which is the amount needed to push the button, wait for 400 milliseconds, or about half a second, and then move the servo back to 90, and it will print in the serial window, heat has been turned on. I did that simply to help with debugging. The next is if you're in between the heat and the cold, which in this example is, I think, 68 and 80 degrees. Um, if it finds that, it will, write servo 1 to 45 degrees, which hits the off button, waits 4 tenths of a second, moves it back to the servo back to 90 and says the unit's been turned off. And lastly, if the temperature is greater than the need AC temperature, which is 80, and the AC is not already on, then write servo 1 to 130 degrees, which turns on the AC. This happens in intervals that we determined in time to check up above, which was 300,000 milliseconds, 
in the way that works is with the uh, I believe the millis command and it compares time time equals millis which counts the time since the program started running and if time minus the previous time is greater than 300 milliseconds it will let it check this prevents the servos from um, continuously firing if the temperature happens to be fluctuating. I found that five minutes was fine. Um, you may wish to do shorter or longer.